Sean Stringer here, and I'm delighted to be talking to you about three eyes. <laughs> now you may realize we have two eyes, and some people say the third eye, but I'm talking about three eyes in a different way. First of all, the first eye is intention. I was able to share a message of the power of intention at Unity of Birmingham recently. Had a great time sharing about my son and how he made some mistakes that caused him to have a consequence. That morning I had meditated before we left to head to uh, Unity of Birmingham. I meditated and I just envisioned setting my intention about how I wanted the day to go for him having fun with his electronics and stuff when we got to Birmingham. He has his VR and his, we were staying with a friend of ours called Bob, uh, Bob McKenna. And I really wanted, I was just envisioning him enjoying himself in the big space because he's done it before there. So I was excited. He was excited, etc. Got done with my meditation and come to find out he'd done something we uh, told, instructed him not to do. And so his consequence was no electronics. I felt really disappointed by that, or I chose to be disappointed by that, just feeling like, man, I've envisioned this and set this intention of him having a great time, and now he can't do it. We got there. I had a session. Uh, this was Saturday. He and uh, Kathy went to go and enjoy themselves at a park. After my sessions, they were uh, there waiting for me. They told me, or John told me, he had the best time ever. He was so glad he lost his electronics. So that intention ended up being fulfilled. What I was really envisioning and seeing for him was having an incredible time. And because of what happened, he had a better time than he would have with his electronics by his own <laughs> admission. I was just so um, amazed that God source the universe's grace in helping our intentions come about. I wouldn't have even expected to come down, go down that way. And it was a, a nice reminder that you can trust whatever happens and how it unfolds. Your intentions might not be met the way you want them to, but whatever happens, you can trust it is happening for you. Nothing in life is happening but what is for you because all consciousness is God's consciousness, one consciousness. There's only oneness here. And everything being created is being created by the I am, all consciousness. So the other I, intuition. While I was at uh, Unity this uh, weekend, it dawned on me that my wife, actually once we got back, it was this morning, I was telling my wife, wow, she doesn't know how these sessions have been going for quite some time now because she's not in these one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I did my, I was honored to do my first couple's uh, guidance session, which was powerful. Um, but the way these things are going, I'm just praying for God, Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the angels, sending masters, Yeshua, aka Jesus, and whoever <laughs> is there to support us to assist in bringing through what needs to come through. And as I do it, there's three ways these things I get guided to use energy throughout the session and the energy is just moving and I just allow it to flow and the person that's in the session is also opening up and aligning with source and allowing that source energy to do the work. Uh, secondly, messages come through to give them guidance. Whatever I, I uh, hear, I speak. So the, the teachings aren't mine. The teachings are coming through from our highest knowing or that great teacher, the Holy Spirit that teaches all things, and I just open up and bring it through. And the third thing that can happen is I'm given symbols, and then I come back to personality and talk to people like I'm talking now, and we go through those symbols. Well, what's interesting in our Master Moment Makers training, we teach how to uh, learn these symbols intuitively and use them. The way I'm doing it has morphed, and it's incredible, where when I receive the symbols, what what I'm being guided to do is to have the person align, have the person and look at the symbol and just say the first thing that comes through for them. No matter what it is, it is amazing how intelligent that process is, uh, whether it's the first thing or the color or whatever. It, it's just so intelligent. It's so um, genius how it unfolds. Uh, so I had a great time doing that and explaining to my wife how these sessions go now. Oh, and the, really, I guess the fourth thing, 
sometimes with that energy work, I'm um, guided to actually have the people do certain activities to bring the energy moving and relieve, uh, remove stagnant energy and blocks. So that's the uh, second I, intuition, how that's showing up. I'm really grateful. And it, what it reminds me is we all have a way we came to interact our own unique ways. Like I don't do it the same way Arlene does it. Uh, you won't interact with the, your abilities, your God-given abilities, the same way as I do or anyone else. So uh, play your song. <laughs> Use your intuition the way you're here to do. If you need help, we'd love to help. The third eye is vision with the eyes. But that third eye, <laughs> interestingly enough, our third eye or my third eye, is to see a vision for ourselves, our lives, and to f embody that vision and for our families, for our communities, and for the world. That's exactly what we're doing at 2020 Vision, New Year's Eve. We've got great speakers, music, live DJ dance party for New Year's Eve all day. Call it like, I originally thought like TEDx meets uh, spiritual retreat all in one day. And then you can extend it with the VIP package to a second day where it's only a limited number of people that will be doing breath work with us, with the facilitators. We'll have training, and we'll even have an online component afterwards to help you out. So check that out for New Year's Eve, and that's it today. Love you. Peace. You'll be all right. Let this go by. If you just align, just align, right.